Welcome to Geeks Corner. I'm Mr. Dabs. And I'm Johnny Five. I had to think I almost didn't think I was Johnny Five for a minute. Who did know. you think you it's, were? I don't I don't honestly know. It's just okay. that kind of day. Apparently, why are you Johnny Five? <laughs> Apparently. Um because of thirty six. <laughs> is is why I'm Johnny because because thirty six times five is one eighty, and I feel like like we've pulled a complete one eighty recently. <laughs> so <laughs> Yes, yes, we have. And, and we've done that by focusing on Thanksgiving instead of Christmas, whereas exactly. everybody else is focusing on Christmas right now. We are focusing on a fish. We're focusing on the holiday that lies before us instead of There's the holiday that lies before us. Yes, first before second. Yes, um, and first so things first. We have our wonderful thank tank here. Yep, slowly and filling up, being mm -hmm. more thankful. Yeah, we got, we got more thanks, thanks. Yeah, thanks for some. our tanks. Um, yeah. So we, we have a hashtag. If you want to be added into our thank tank, just tweet us with hashtag thank tank. Perfect. And we will uh, we'll jot it down and write What it else do they need to do right now? Subscribe. That's they right. They need to subscribe. And, and video replies, because we got one last week. And video replies. We love those. And, and share this with your friends. Like, put it mm -hmm. on your Facebook and, and your Twitter and your MySpace. And the other thing you can do, MySpace? Sure. <laughs> People use it. We just did 180 degrees on uh, social media, too, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> put it on your live journal. Yeah, your orchid, yeah. Uh, friendster live. Yeah, okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can send in your submissions for your Thanksgiving float. Yes, we need those. Um, email us a picture, or I guess that's the best way is email, and you can email to dapsmagic at gmail dot com, mm -hmm. and uh, we will s submit that to our um, our Thanksgiving parade float committee, and um, it will be a part of our glorious Thanksgiving parade. And we need them. Um, our epic Thanksgiving epic parade. Thanksgiving parade. And we need them by next Monday. Glorious. Because Epic. next week, next week's episode is our Thanksgiving parade. So we need, mm -hmm. we need, this is important. Yeah, by so, Monday, um, Monday people. Correct. So um, since Thanksgiving is next week, we thought we'd make this a how-to episode. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you're gonna need to know for Thanksgiving is how to um, get and cook a turkey. So um, we've sent Johnny Five out, and I gave him some guidelines, five guidelines, I think, if I'm right, Yes. Um, to go out and get a turkey. So the five things you need to do, should I tell you right now? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is first you have to calculate how much turkey you need. So mm -hmm. it's like three quarter a pound per person. So we have a bunch of people here, so you'd have to do the math and blah, blah, blah. And um, the second thing you need to do is once you've calculated that, you want to make sure you have a place to put your turkey. If it's frozen. So it's like five pounds. Okay. Um, if it's frozen, you might need to um, thaw it or whatever. So plan ahead, either put it in the refrigerator or in a um, in a cooler or something. Um, and then you want to you want to make sure that you um, go out and pick the right grade of turkey. You want obviously a plus. A plus. Grade A is definitely the best. The one that does organic extra homework is a good on idea weekends. too. Um, definitely free range costs a little bit more, but um, you know what's in it, and um, it's, it's yeah. What's in it, or what's not in it? What's not in it? Go watch Food Inc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> you won't want to eat again. He actually seen it before. Um, Pre-basted makes life easier, so you can get one of those. Maybe if you want kosher, I don't know, whatever. Um, step four, is that what we're on now? Yeah, find a turkey with an inner thermometer. I don't understand that one. Yeah, because you don't want to cook turkey that's not cooked all the way through. Do they like feed it a thermometer? No, it has this little thing that pops out when it's done. It's really cool. And then the fifth thing you want to do is don't be the chef that you're not. So Which, don't try to do something you don't know how to do because it might end badly. So oh, you mean that, like go and find a cook a find and cook yeah, a turkey? Yeah, you're gonna go find a turkey using these steps that I just gave you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so we uh, sent you out with a video crew, a really dynamic video crew, and uh, let's roll that first video and see how you did. Hey there, Johnny Five here, and I am officially going to be shopping for the Daps Turkey. Uh, so I have the, the list of things right now. Uh, calculate how much turkey you need, three quarters per person. Uh, let's just go with five, so that's 15 quarters, about four pounds. Uh, three pounds, three quarters. Uh, that's a lot of, that's a lot. Um, find a place to keep your turkey, we're going to use the studio. Uh, pick the right grade turkey, grade A, all of that. Uh, inner thermometer, cool, got it. All that's left is to get it and get it into the studio. Uh, so I just got back from the store. I looked at every aisle that I'm familiar with and could not find a loaf of turkey, and I don't know what they keep in all the other aisles, so I'm gonna go back to the studio and see if we can sort this out there. Woo! 
It's bread, right? Tur turkey's a bread? I couldn't find a loaf of turkey. <laughs> yeah, I'm really curious to see how the cooking part goes then. Um, so we're gonna move right um, along into how to cook a turkey that we don't have apparently. Um, so you wanna thaw well, your turkey that. first. That's the first step you wanna do. And um, plan on about 24 hours for every five pounds of turkey, which Why? would mean one day if we went for that five pounds that he talked about before. Why would, because you don't want a frozen turkey. It's better Why to cook it Why is it frozen in the first, you have to um, leave it out for a day? No, you want to thaw it. Um, if you don't know how to do that, look it up on the internet. Um, the second thing you want to do is prepare the turkey. That means cleaning it out, letting it sit for about an hour before you cook it so it gets to room See, temperature. See, you do have to let it sit. For you have hour. to sit it out. That's not the same. You can thaw it in a cooler or in the refrigerator where it's not freezing, it's just thawing gently. Um, then you wanna set your, your oven for 450 degrees. That's step three. Step four is you're gonna cook the turkey, which is about approximately 13 minutes per pound. So what's why, the math? Now, I love math, but why is there so much math in this? And it's, it's all cooking. time. It's all it's time cooking. per turkey. Because the longer you cook it, the hotter it gets. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> It's a true story. So 13 minutes so, per pound, do the math, then baste the turkey every 45 minutes with the uh, juices that are in the bottom of the pan. Um, and once the inside of the turkey has reached 165 degrees in both the and that's when and the, turkey the outer pops thigh, out. or the thing pops out, then you're good to go. Then you get to carve it. Oh, like, like put faces in it like Halloween? No, you rest it for about 30 minutes and then you take off the wings and the legs and you carve those and then you carve the breasts and then you eat it. Why? Because that's what you do on Thanksgiving. It's gruesome. Ask the pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> pilgrims, if you're watching, why? Why, why do this to I do have to wonder, though, what if the turkey had become our national bird? What would we eat on Thanksgiving? Eagle. Instead? I don't think that's big enough. We would eat eagle. I think we'd eat goose. We'd eat three quarter pound eagle per person. Comments, what do you think we'd eat for Thanksgiving if yeah. the ham. duck, ham, yeah. Pheasant. See, there's lots of different quail. things lots it could be. Lots and lots of quail. <laughs> Little Four quail, quail nuggets. Per, per person. Um, so um, I'm really curious to see how this turns out because part of Johnny Five's assignment was to go and cook a turkey for us also. So um, let's roll that video now. All right, now it's time to cook the turkey. And I have been informed by numerous sources that turkey is not bread, it is in fact a bird. So I have invited our very own Ted the Penguin, Major Minor. Thank you. Welcome, Ted. How are you? Excellent! How are you? Doing very well. All right, so get in this roasting pan. Why? We're, we're going to cook a turkey for our friends to show them how to cook a turkey. I so am a, not a turkey! You're, you're a bird, so you're close enough. <laughs> you're a bird? No, I'm... I'm bird brain? <laughs> you think I'll get in that pan? Yeah, sure, just, just hop how in. How about you get in the pan? Well, it's too small for me, so why don't you just hop into the pan? Well, I'll cut you down to size! Set, hop into the pan. <laughs> No! No? Just hop. Come on, here, I'll help you. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 You did! So you did survive. I did. Clearly, since you're still here. The, you can't see the bruises. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I would have put my money on Ted anyway, so. I, yeah, that's Maj a, They call him Major Minor you for You would a have won. Mm -hmm. um, so whatever you have for us to, um, um, it, it's not quite three quarters of a pound per person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got, there's. Do you want the fruit? No! <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. No, um, yeah. <laughs> no, really? That's, no, that's our no, um, yeah. Sure, yes. Should we start calling him Charlie Brown? Yes. Gonna, yes. gonna put it right there on top of the fish. Who's gonna be the parent? <laughs> so not only is he Charlie Brown, he's the anonymous parent also. <laughs> yeah, that's, so. Uh, like one person's gonna get that. <laughs> next week, we're gonna have our Thanksgiving parade. Yes. It's gonna be epic as long as you submit lots and lots of floats. You can submit more than one. Mm -hmm. um, we might cook Johnny Five by then and um, put him on the hot seat so it's more entertaining next week. Hot. See what you did there. Uh-huh. Did you? Yep. <laughs> anyway.
anyway, that's about all the time we have for this week. Uh, keep sending in your Thanksgiving thank tank submissions, and we'll keep Hashtag filling, think tank. Because we need to fill this up by next week, so we need like 60 more. Um, and uh, we'll see you around the corner. Geek out.